Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Dagla Buffalo and this is Let's Play Kathy Rain Blind. When we last left off, we were back in our dorm room and, well, the night had passed. We had a fairly strange dream. And, well, now... Well, I guess we just... We will continue our inquiries into what our grandfather was up to. But Eileen said she would leave us a note for some ideas that she's had, which I presume is this post-it on the computer. So let's check that out. Hi, Cat. Feel free to use my computer while I'm away. My password is Angel Love, without the quotes. If you call my friend Dave at 555-2492, he can set you up with some software. I'll be back in a few hours, super psyched about the investigation. E. P.S. No gum on the keyboard, please. Remember the last time? Oh, please, like she actually uses the space bar? Shit, looks like she forgot to write down the username. Oh well, shouldn't be too hard to guess. I think it's just some combination of her first and last name. Why would she put gum on the space bar? Like anywhere on the keyboard, why would you put your gum there? So the question is, what is her last name? Does it say on the suitcase? Eileen's girly suitcase. There's a sticker on it with her full name, Eileen Mildred Summers. Yeah, Mildred. Oh, she didn't. <laughs> she didn't do the part, the second part of the dialogue this time. Uh, anyway. So can we then? These summers, maybe? I hope I spelled Angel Love correctly. Blue Pill OS. We got 1.2 megs free, right? Yeah. Okay, three attempts left. That does not sound promising, so let's maybe talk to Dave first. Yeah. Hey, I'm Kathy. Eileen said to call you about some software. Ellie who? Eileen. Red hair, glasses, speaks so fast her gums ache. Oh, right. I thought her name was Errol. Figured it was kind of a weird name for a girl. You must have a hearing disorder. You must have a thinking disorder. Ha 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 ha, burn! Wow, just wow. So, uh, the software? Oh, yeah. No, can't. Not really. Ugh, <sighs> I knew she was full of shit. Nah, I mean, sure, I used to be able to get pirated software, but not anymore. There was this misunderstanding and my network privileges were revoked. Me and Clyde, the campus IT guy, don't really see eye to eye. We used to play bocce together and let's just say he is one sore loser. I'm gonna patch things up with Clyde. Can't you hack your way in? Such a poser. Can't you just hack your way back in somehow? Isn't that what you do? He blocked the ethernet port in my room. I don't even have physical access. Don't you ever leave your room? Use a computer in the library or something. Aren't they connected to the network? No, there are cameras in there. Clyde is just waiting for me to make a move so he can get me expelled. Can't you just patch things up with the guy? No way. He's such an ass. He even thinks TNG is better than the original series. He thinks the what is better than the what? I know, right? Can you believe that guy? You call yourself a hacker? Just use your brain for Christ's sake. Let's figure this out. Wow, you're so sassy, Nancy Drew. Well, okay, only an admin account can change the access ports. 
The only way to even theoretically crack one would be if Clyde logged on to a machine to which we have unrestricted physical access. And... Ooh, I got an idea. I'm not gonna like this. Well, what you could do is intentionally crash your PC. That sounds especially stupid. Well, not crash it, crash it. Just crash it a little, then call Clyde. Clyde will come over to fix it. If you're lucky, then he'll log on to the network using his admin account. Afterwards, you can use some of my tools to find and crack the password locally. Worth a shot, I guess. Okay, you can come over and set it up. No way. I have severe IBS. It just wouldn't work. IBS? What the hell is that? Uh, you seriously don't want to know. No, you don't. Have my buddy drop off everything you need. It's not rocket science. You do what I ask, and I'll get you some juicy software. Quid pro quo, Clarice. Whatever, weirdo. We'll see. Anyway, I was just saying, considering everything that... I don't see this room having a bathroom, so... Yeah. Which, you know, in case of some stranger hi having IBS is maybe, I don't know, a blessing because at least he won't be using your private bathroom, but you know, whatever. Let's move on. Take a look at this envelope. A thick white envelope. Guy was fast. Was he waiting outside? Let's see. These must be the instructions from Dave. There was a floppy disk in there with a note taped to the back. It's labeled boot. One, boot your computer using the blue floppy. Two, use the corrupt MBR utility to crash the file system of the computer. Take the floppy out and reboot. 3. Call Clyde at 555-8181, tell him your computer crashed, and give him the error code on the screen. He'll come over and have a look. It shouldn't take too long for him to fix. 4. Now comes the crucial part. You need to somehow make him log on with his admin account. 5. Reboot and retrieve the admin credentials using the blue floppy. 6. Reboot and log on using Clyde's admin account. 7. Look for some kind of tool to remotely open my Ethernet port. Dorm B, room 8. That's it. And remember, if you mess up somewhere, just call Clyde, and he'll have to take care of it. It's his job, after all. So I guess this way we can crash our computer a little bit. Or not our computer, our roommate's computer. Under BIOS, Cyberdyne Systems. Corrupt Hard Drive MBR. All right, time for some expert help. All right, let's call Clyde. IT, this is Clyde speaking. How can I help you? Broken computer, fight with Dave, username, hang up. Hi, I need you to come and fix my roommate's computer. What seems to be the problem? It won't start up. There's some kind of system failure with an error code on the screen. Probably a hard drive failure. Which room are you in? Dorm A, room 5. I'll be there in a few minutes. Thanks. Okay. Boy, these people are fast. Hey, Clyde from IT. Hi, come in. My, oh my, now how did this happen? I have no idea. It was like this when I started it up this morning. Hmm, let's have a look.
And presto, good as new. That's perfect. Could, could you try logging on real quick just to make sure it works? You go ahead. I'll wait. For security reasons, accounts are locked after four. Problem is, we don't know our login. Eileen S, maybe? Invalid username. So, E. Summers was correct. Angel Love. Wasn't it Angel Love? Can we look it up again? Uh, yeah, that worked. Thanks. No problem. Let me know if you have any more trouble. Shit. I have to come up with a way to force him to log on. Hi, Cat. Feel free. My password is Angel Love without the quotes. It is Angel Love. Call my friend Super Psych, that missing. Why is it not working then? Angel Love. Oh, finally. Wow. Managed to get in. Copy drive empty, empty scanner. So, where's she going? Now we need, probably we need the software to, um, work on the, on the colors, on, on the brightness. Well, basically we need Photoshop. So, an idea. We could, uh, well, corrupt the file system again. Um, get Clyde back in here. Then he went. He asks us to log on. We just mess up the login and lock the computer, so that our account will no longer be able to log in. Well, let's try that. And presto, good as new. That's perfect. Could could you try logging on real quick just to make sure it works? You go ahead. I'll wait. Well, it's actually really nice of the game that it skips past all the repetition. So we're basically so we don't have to call him again. He has to come in again, go through all the animation. And we're right back where the important stuff happens. So, well, just getting rid of the last letter in the password should be plenty. One attempt left. Count locked. Oh, now look what I did. For crying out loud. <sighs> Let me try to log in with my account. Okay, everything seems to be in order. I've unlocked your account. Please, try not to break anything else. Oh, I'll try.
phase one complete. Okay, now let's put the floppy back in. And this time we'll extract the admin passwords. User admin password gadget. So admin gadget. Welcome, Clyde. All right. Network settings. What was it? Dorm B, room eight. Yeah, it's off. All right, that should do it. Okay. So, I guess we need to call back Dave and tell him that he is good to go. Guess what? You got it? Hang on. Oh man, I could kiss you! Um, figuratively, that is. I am so gonna get back at Clyde now. What are those admin credentials, by the way? Not telling, buddy. Saving those for a rainy day. Huh. I suppose this nice floppy I've prepared for you stays in my room, then. Sure. Then I'll just have to log back on and click that pretty little lock icon again. Now this is just emotional blackmail. Quid pro quo, Dave. Fine. I'll have it dropped off at your room. God damn, you're like a she Clyde. A Clydeck. Huh. That is the worst insult I have ever heard. Later, Dave. And again, they were right. They're ready right outside our door. I'll just get rid of these notes now. I don't need them anymore. All right. This must be the software I need. There was a floppy disk inside. All right. E Summers. Angel Love. Voice Forge. And Image Analyzer. Exposure detected, please adjust brightness level. Okay. What the hell is that? Ball lightning? I'll print the whole picture for now, but there's probably more to find. That was a very quick print. Pattern analysis failed. Please narrow down search area. Yes. Whoa. Brightness anomalies form a tilted equilateral triangle. That shape has to be significant somehow.
Unusual flower over there, though. Never seen anything like it. Maybe worth printing? Sure. It's not our ink. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's all there is to find in this picture. What is that? Well, I guess we'll just have to take Kathy's word for it. So, we can analyze audio as well, but we don't have any audio files. Pick up the printouts. I'll just get rid of the original picture now, since I have the restored version anyway. Strange. Now that I look at them, the lights remind me of something I picked up yesterday. All right. Here we go. It's the brochure that priest gave me at the funeral. The logo stands out, but other than that, it's just the usual church mumbo jumbo. Washing away your sins. Oh, there's also an address at the bottom. Huh. <laughs> Good old Satan. Better get his snowmobile ready for that day. That logo at the top looks familiar. Haven't I seen something similar to it today? I think we never listened to this di dialogue, so... I skipped past it, but maybe we should listen to it. It's the brochure that priest gave me at the funeral. The logo stands out, but other than that, it's just the usual church mumbo-jumbo. Washing away your sins, salvation, blah blah. There's also an address at the bottom. You know, if I ever feel like getting my god on. Huh. <laughs> Good old Satan. Better get his snowmobile ready for that day. Alright, well basically... The important part is that the logo looks... Well, there's three spheres or circles or whatever in kind of a triangular shape let's see combine this wow the church logo looks pretty similar to the smoky lights i might have to visit them after all i guess satan's gonna warm up that snowmobile oh hello there mildred hi yourself agatha what? How'd you... Ugh, never mind. I know your social security number, too. Oh, God. Soon you'll start stealing my clothes and then walk around and then pretending to be me. Who says I haven't done that already? Okay, I admit, that's pretty funny. So, anyway, how did things go with Dave? Pretty good. I had to sabotage your computer. You had to what? Oh, chill out It was just a tiny little thing. I just needed an excuse for the IT guy to come by so I could steal his password. Clyde? But he's so nice. Why'd you want to steal his password? It's a long story. Wow, they're hypnotic. Looks like a will-o'-the-wisp. You know, the spirit of the forest. Now, that's just silly, Eileen. There has to be a more reasonable explanation for them. Hey, there's nothing silly about forest spirits. You should talk to Meadow, my Wiccan friend. She's really opened my eyes about these sort of things. Isn't it a Christian dude to consider people like her to be heathens? Isn't that the same Meadow who had an intimate relationship with a tree outside her dorm? Isn't that the same Meadow who had an intimate relationship with a tree outside her dorm? Oh, come on. That was just a phase. Trust me, I've been through every phase in the book. That definitely isn't one of them. So anyway, is there anything I can do to help? Well, my side of the room is starting to get a bit messy. There's always that. Haha, <laughs> I met with the investigation, silly. I guess you could try to find out more about these lights. Maybe figure out where that picture was taken. Sounds good. 
I know exactly where to start. Oh, and yeah, feel free to keep using my computer. I don't need it right now. All right, I think I'm gonna see if I can figure out a way to motivate Erica Wade to talk to me. Okie dokie. Hmm. How can we motivate her, though? It's a bright red flower of some kind. Could be a long shot, but I've never seen a flower like that. Maybe finding out more about where it grows could narrow down where the picture was taken. A printed picture of the strange smoky lights. It appears to have been taken somewhere in Conwell Woods. Ugh, I feel strange just looking at them. So, think about the computer. Oh, guess let's take our floppy back. Oh, one thing we can try. It's some advanced scan. Scan this picture. This picture is in good shape. I don't think it needs to be analyzed. Well, it was worth a shot. The tapes can be put directly in the scanner. Oh, okay. That's kind of weird, but sure, whatever. I don't see any need to scan this tape. The other one might be more useful. All right. Five distinct voices separated into sections. After beep leave message, Rain reached residence the Yuve. So, okay, this is alphabetical. You've reached the Rain residence. Leave a message after the beep. Oh, we can rearrange these into a new message. Interesting. about all and anyways baby best boy by call charles come erica father firstborn give had he hello her his hope i eyed it's joseph just kathy like listen little looks maybe me mrs nothing rain see she soon thankfully the thinking thought to visit thought to visit once was well what you you'd your okay Hello, Joseph, Mrs. Rain. It's me, Charles. I thought I'd give you a call. Erica just had her first born. It's a boy. Thankfully, he looks nothing like his father. Uh, listen, I was thinking maybe you'd like to come and visit. And what about your little Kathy? Maybe she wants to see the baby. Well, anyways, I hope to see you soon. All the best. Bye. So could we maybe use this to tell Erica to talk to us? All right, this is corrupted. I 
I see you, Kathy. <laughs> what the hell? Calm down, Kathy. Think. Just think. It has to be some sick joke left in the program by Dave. Yeah, that must be it. He is one twisted fuck. Okay. That is... That is really creepy. Voices in the static. That call come in contact, don't ever if I if make me never people police sick. Those who try us, we will write you. You people make me sick. We're never coming back. Don't call, don't write. If you ever try to contact us, I will call the police. Right. I think that's her mother. All and any as back bastards call Ken Cocky going got happened. I I'm it it's Joseph, just me, not now. Off one only soon tell the there they those two to trust wrong you your Joseph, you there? It's me, Cocky. I, it happened to me too. And I'm not going to tell any of those bastards. They got it all wrong. You're the only one I trust now. Just call me back as soon as you can. Is that the same voice as... Hello, Joseph. No, this it's not. It's me. So Cocky and Charles are not the same person. Probably Cocky is the third person in that picture that we have. But, well, I guess this is the... Maybe the message that we have to reconfigure to get Erica to talk to us, but as I said, first we need to figure out what kind of message will get her to talk to us. So let's exit out of this. So I think the next step will be to call Erica and see how she reacts and see what we can extrapolate from that. But I think we will do that in the next part. So for now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like or a comment below. Subscribe to stay up to date and I will see you in the next part. So until then, have a good one.